I've been playing soccer my whole life. Two years ago, I committed to play soccer at St. Edwards University. She's got an innate ability to know where to be on the field, and that makes all the difference. I started having pain that would go up my arm, and my fingers went completely white, and I looked down, and I was like, this isn't normal, it shouldn't be happening, and felt pressure up here, but I never, I would always say my pulse hurt, but your pulse can't hurt, because I didn't know what else to say. People like to call this the five doctor disease because it typically takes, you have to go through five doctors to get to the point that somebody's gonna figure it out. I was really um, pretty afraid of what was going on. The vascular surgeon from Austin came in and he said, listen, I can't fix this problem. I don't do this type of surgery, but I have a name of a person in Dallas. It's at Baylor Hospital, go see him. I was born with my first and second ribs fused together and then that caused thoracic outlet syndrome. The neurovascular structures, nerve, artery, and vein pass from the neck and chest through this area. They can get compressed, so the, the object of the treatment is to go in and relieve the uh, compression by uh, removing that compressive muscle, the so-called scaling muscle, and removing the top rib, the first rib. And it's a condition that's actually very common in young athletic individuals. It can actually potentially jeopardize the, the extremity to where they can lose the circulation to digits or the hand and actually potentially end up with amputation. I was told I need to get surgery to get my first and second ribs out. Once we found out exactly what was going on and, and then Caitlin and Kelly met the doctor, that never was a concern after that point. The doctor that we saw at Baylor Hospital, he was amazing. I have never in my life met such a calming, gentle soul. Our goal in treating the condition is to get them back playing, and performing at a high level, and that's our goal actually even for the non-athlete. It's getting back to their normal everyday activities without restrictions and problems. Finding Baylor was, it was honestly a blessing. Every single person that came in and helped me with either taking my blood in the middle of the night, even the people who brought me food, they were all so nice. It was just, everyone was so welcoming there. We moved to Texas six years ago and there's been a lot of times where things haven't really turned out the way that we thought they were going to, but we know exactly why we were supposed to be here. And if for no other reason, it was just so that Kaylin could get treated and get back on her feet again. We were in the right hands and the right place. I feel great. Nothing ever hurts, so that's awesome.